terrible. They got person. billions Absolute. of people. You got one billion a piece. What do you fucking mean? We're struggling at so 15 want... million. Half of them aren't even real Jews. Welcome Everyone. to Muzzle Tough. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hey, let us know how you found this video. All right, folks, if you don't know how this works, we're going to click to spin. We're going to talk about whatever comes up on the doodah, and we're going to give our honest opinions that we really feel totally not a character. All right, come on, ban all Jews. Come on, ban the Jews. Okay, wait, we're close. Okay, close. <laughs> Pretty close. Thanks, Flying God. cars. Flying cars. I have opinions about this. I actually also have opinions about this. So it seems to be that every year, one second, let me adjust my shit here. I'm also going to roll a joint while we while we discuss. You know, Ben. Um, wait, try to, okay, fine. Wait, my microphone's doing things, but now it's back. Just your microphone is doing things. What the fuck? Just wait his microphone is doing things, guys. Everyone, hold on. Mary. I'm unplugging things and plugging it back. Well, don't leave leave the Zoom call, Ben. You know, it seems like every year or so, another company comes out with another flying car. Wait, and where's my camera? As dope as that is, Ben, I'm trying to talk here. As dope as that is, figure things out in silence. As dope as that is, Hard. Ben, silence. What? Wait, what? Pause, pause. We're going to talk about this. Listen, guys, it's hard enough to regulate the two-dimensional spatial traversing that is the roads of America. How is it, do you, how do you exactly expect people to fly accordingly, you know, through air? You know, you got airplanes hitting each other. You expect civilians and cars to not hit each other in the air? And then on top of that, when that happens, you have debris falling down all over the place. Now I know what you're saying. You're saying, Mayor, not everyone is going to be able to afford a flying car. Do you do you know what ATC is, Ben? Do you know what the ATC is? It's ben? three of the twenty six letters, which I know all of. It's not twenty four. Don't make me don't make me run through it. A no B, no 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 no. A, I was thinking of a different alphabet. And I'm not just saying that to prove something. I didn't forget how many letters there were. Point, point proven. Point proven. Mayor is smarter than the rest of us. He knows something we don't know. So okay, listen. Here's a guy. Here's the thing, guys, guys, guys. ATC, air traffic control. They could barely keep their shit together with the with the airplanes flying around. All right. You think a civilian taking off, flying from Massachusetts? to Denver, Colorado is going to be able to make the the flight safely? Not a chance, dude. Not a chance. All right? Emergency landings, engine failures over populated or unpopulated areas. So many things can go wrong that the average civilian is not prepared for. There's no way that you'll be able to get your hands on a flying car if you're not prepared for these situations. Okay? To top that all off, to top that all off, Okay. That's really it. That's all I got. I mean, you let people fly around with these fucking cars, they're going to die. Hey, what, what if we did this? What if we did this? Go ahead. Just on this. What if we made, you know what ride sharing is? Mm. What if we made a system where instead of like a singular flying cars, we made these big flying cars and like everyone would go to like a place called like we can call it like a carport or something like that. They get their ticket. And they all get together in these shared rides in these long, sort of like Boeing a, cars, like a sky bus. Yeah, like a yeah, yeah, yeah. Sky that never bus existed very much. before. Oh, it's a new thing, and yeah, I think what we should do is we should existed. we could call it like American bus lines, or we could call it like Delta buses. That we can any of these names, or if Spirit it's an, bus. If, I mean, Spirit is good. I like that. Spirit. We should get. I'll. I'll, I'll I'll write that one down. Write that one down. So, okay, yeah. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Even, even if you, let's say you're a wealthy person and you pay for your own regulated airspace, okay? Which means, you know, from the, the soil to the sky, 
everything in the borders is yours. No airplanes can fly through it. That's yours. That's your fly space, right? Mm. Even if you can do that, you can do that already with a little airplane, right? There, There's even not too far from where I live, there's uh, an airport yard thing. People park their own little airplanes. They take off. They go flying all around, and then they land, and that's their hobby. You know what I mean? The the car aspect, shit, man. That is a flying car. It's like asking, what if we had driving airplanes? You know what I mean? They do that, but like that's not its main intention. And if the intention is to fly, just get a little fucking airplane. Right. I don't but know the why. Problem this... is, no, no, no. Go but ahead. it's got to look fucking sick. That's the thing. It has to look like. Have you ever seen that one movie? Um, Schindler's Chitty, List. Chitty, Chitty, Bang, Bang. Wow. Both Disney classics. Um, well, anyway, the point I was making was that if they had flying cars in the Holocaust, the Holocaust would have never happened. So why don't we just skip the next Holocaust and make flying cars? Do you know what I mean? I mean, I guess I don't have to, I I don't, I don't have to walk with, you through no, my logic. I agree with that, I guess. But like, I'm not Sounds saying like an for, equal amount of me. death. I'm a I, I I guess so. I'm not going to argue that flying cars would cause an equal amount of death and devastation as the Holocaust. So I guess if that's your comparison point, then yeah. Then yeah, I have to say I'm totally for flying cars. But... Yeah, th- these are good points. I got nothing. Guys! Ah! Let us know what Alright, let's think. just talk about this. How much should a flying car cost? Oh, okay, fine. I mean... An average car right now costs thirty thousand. Would you say that's the average for a vehicle now? Thirty thousand dollars for a brand new vehicle. What is the average price of a vehicle? I found this on the web. Forty-seven thousand dollars. Forty-seven thousand. Okay, fine. What's the what average... kind of cars these people? Wait buy? a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, what's the average price of a little biplane? Okay. What's the average price of a little biplane? What if the plane is just by curious? Like just it's not sure if it wants to. Be. I'm gonna say it's like a hundred thousand dollars. Single between fifteen thousand and a hundred thousand, you could buy two small airplanes for the price of a car. Okay, why fine. are we not doing what? Well, well, okay, so also here's the thing: because the plane itself, mechanically speaking, is probably simpler than a car. If you think about it, a little a little hobby plane, simpler than a car. However. The insurance you need as a pilot, the license you need as a pilot, that is all much more expensive than uh, car insurance and a, and a driving license. Let me tell you what. The lessons needed, yep. this and that. Uh, overall, a much more expensive hobby than if you were simply a motorist. But, excuse me. Oh, my God, Mayor, what are you doing? Shut the fuck up. There, I will not. The, the our fans want to know. Fans, comment down below what you think Mayor is doing right now. Don't listen. I'm gonna say right now, if flying cars were to ever go into production, which God willing they never do, I'm gonna say they're gonna cost a hundred thousand dollars minimum. So you're that, saying you it. want another Holocaust to happen? That's what you're saying. That's what you're wait, saying. Now, that's wait a minute. Wait a minute. Does it have? That's to what be, you're saying. Does it have to be a Holocaust for our people? Could it be someone else's people? Then yeah, I'm fine with that. That's that's a good point. Okay, and that I'm in agreement. Actually, you know what? Six other million? people can. They, Listen, everyone, hey, wait a minute. Yeah. They, shit, man. I who can could, name more. Who could who could handle a Holocaust? That's my question. What what people could handle a Holocaust? They'll be the fine Indians, with it. The Indians, the Muslims, the Christians. They can all. Bayer is a terrible person. Terrible they got person. billions Absolute. of people. You got one billion a piece. What do you fucking mean? We're struggling at so fifteen want... million. Half of them aren't even real Jews. So you you want you want you want uh, you want the the Indians to go through a Holocaust. That's what you're saying. You want India to go through a Holocaust. You're saying that you want India to go through a Holocaust. You're saying. That you want India to go through a Holocaust. That's unbelievable. And that concludes this episode on flying cars. Let us know what you think down below. This has been Muzzle Tough Takes. My name is Herbridge or Herod. I forgot.